What's good? We back with the boxing clinic. Some more Canelo Triple G talk. This time coming from Grandma Rigondale, who will be a part of one of the greatest, you know, fights as far as you know accolades and resume and boxing skills that we are ever gonna witness. December 9th, it's official. Rigondale is taking on Vasyl Lomachenko and moving up eight pounds and showing that, you know, he ain't scared. And from one of the greatest amateurs of all time, his speed, his he speed, he spits his piece, excuse me, uh, on Canelo versus Triple G. Now I'm sorry I haven't been able to go live for all my Facebook family and stuff like that. Um, I was planning to go live this weekend, but I got into an accident at work and my face is all chopped up, so I'm in the process of trying to do something to move forward on from this nasty facial thing on my face, man. Pissed me off, but you know I'm still gonna keep that boxing talk rolling, even though my face is definitely in pain. But um. You know, this was Triple uh, uh, Rigondeaux had to say about Canelo or Triple G. Uh, whoever goes to the body first and more often is going to win. These two warriors can take a hit to the chin, no problem. And I think that's the proper assessment. I know a lot of people say that Canelo needs to work Triple G's body to get a knockout. But I think it's imperative for Triple G to work Canelo's body to speed up the stamina issue process for, for, for him. I think the quicker this fight goes, you know, for Triple G the easier he can just rest his head and just be happy and get it over with. You know, and I think body attack is something we didn't talk about and nobody's talking about for, for Gennady Golovkin. And I think he needs to tap that body. I think it's imperative, man. Especially when he's on the ropes and trying to rope a dope and slip, the body doesn't go anywhere. Um, and for Canelo, of course, the, it's, it's just start and finish and end with the body attack. You know, I think he... I, the, these, these European guys, some of them, can't take it to the body because they got strong chins and good power. They not durable to the body. Triple G has been dropped and sparring to the body by four by Terrell Hendricks. You know he's a light heavyweight, but he's not a premier fighter. A premier fighter. He's not a prize fighter. And I think Canelo needs to work the body. And I think Rigondeaux was on to something here. I think this is going to be a body affair. I think Canelo he has to go to the body. He doesn't have a choice. You know, and a lot of people get timid or intimidated by going to or timid or get intimidated by going to the body because they don't want to trade that body shot for a head shot. And you see a lot of great fighters don't even try body shots anymore. They might jab to the body and move and shut up, set up a shot to the head. But body work is a lost art. I heard Mike McCullum, the, the original body snatcher himself, say body work is a lost art. And I think of a lot of guys incorporated body work into their uh, repertoire. A lot of these, a lot of a lot of guys that's mid level or good on the fringe of being elite and never really made it, like an Adrian Broner, they they would be elite fighters if they actually worked on their craft of going to the body. You know, you ain't got to be the biggest puncher to go to the body. The head can take the blows, but the but the body can't take consistent punishment like that. Eventually, that guy's going to slow down with a consistent body attack. And there's so many guys with great potential to go to the body and be the next the next body snatcher, for real. But a lot of these guys don't know how to do it. They don't know how to attack the body. They're scared. They don't know how to defend themselves by attacking the body. But attacking the body is, is your best defense. Because when his hands come down... You able to go upstairs. He's gonna slow down. His punch output gonna slow down. So that puts you in the driver's seat. Then you can do what the fuck you want to do. But a lot of guys don't want to go to that body. You know, it's a, it's definitely a lost art. And Mike McCullum, I wish I could pull up that interview and find out which interview he did. Said it was a lost art. But good, but good stuff by uh, Grimmo Rigondeaux right here. And good luck to him in this fight, December 9th. Hopefully, I'll be in the building. We gone.